Show me on sunrise, switching them lanes. Stop at the light when she caught my attention. Remember when she played with my heart in detention. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mother Res. You already know. And NBA 2K18's prelude is officially out. Now, the first advice I can give you is do not make a build do not purchase vc as soon as the game comes out because in the prelude they do not tell you any stats and when you're making your player build right here you see how you have extra gold badges silver badges and bronze badges it doesn't tell you at all what those badges are so like i'm, I'm confused right now this is like 25 percent of last year's prelude man last year's prelude you, you were able to see the badges the stats you know you could make a player and purchase vc and see how the stats are looking you could play my career games this year you couldn't do anything right so i was on the screen for like literally 45 minutes to an hour trying to figure out what is the best build for me right everybody's gonna have their own opinions on what build is good for them but this is straight up off rip i noticed that almost every build cannot shoot the mid-range right or, or just shoot at all now three-point shooting mixed with rebounding can shoot a little bit but shot I, I noticed that shot creating is basically like the best for shooting because of mid-range going up and the three-pointer is not that high but you know it's not meant for centers to shoot the three ball like that this year you know you stretch bigs like pure stretch bigs they don't even get hall of fame limitless range now this is right here off rip. I stopped it right here on this build. I was really thinking, I was like, is this really the best build? Now look, look, right? The I noticed that rebounders, they really don't have like a lot of scoring ability, right? And um, you see right here, rebounding, layups and dunks is pretty high, right? It's not that bad, but the mid range is what caught my eye. Now, when you're a center, people are saying rebounding athletic is the wave uh post scorer rebounder you know those are good builds but for me my play style the way i play i like to pick and pop once in a while you know switch up the game don't become too predictable when you're like just there for the rebound and to score in the paint it's so predictable to play on you you know what if you're playing like somebody that's smart that's like a pure defender or something you cannot go up on them in the paint. You're basically on the court for no reason. Like, I don't know. This is how, the way I'm thinking about it. I, I don't know, man. I was looking at the other builds as well. But this is the build that I'm thinking about making when NBA 2K18 uh, comes out. Rebounding, shot creating. Now, look at the badges. You still get hustle rebounder. Because that's rebounding is your primary, obviously. Now, I was also looking at the pure rebounder. Look at those badges, man. You have four gold badges, five Hall of Fame. Now... I think I'm going to be grinding for 99 overall. And when you hit 99 overall, all your badges go up by one. So all your gold badges, if you're a dual archetype, all your gold badges are going to be Hall of Fame and you're going to be unstoppable. But if you're a pure rebounder, you already have a Hall of Fame, you know? Now, Mike Wang said that there are... Was it Mike Wang or LD2K? I'm not sure. But one of them said that, you know, it's going to be easier to level up with an archetype that's OP, like pure archetypes they're op in their own way like very very good they're gonna help you rep up easier you know but in the long run dual archetypes are gonna be way more overpowered because if you hit 99 overall you're basically gonna be unstoppable you're gonna have like nine to like 11 hall of fame badges you know you're just gonna be op as hell now right here i was thinking about you know what what is the height that i'm going to make now you remember last year 6 11 centers were starting to be the wave as the game started to you know progress more right and 7 3 they're good every year they weren't that bad last year that was my build actually a 7 foot 3 center but i know this year they are actually pretty strict about you know reducing stats the the shorter you are the fast uh the higher you are you know they're reducing stats for like for example speed when you when you raise up your height like i don't know so i was thinking about making it neutral for now all right seven foot because at this point i thought i was gonna be able to look at the stats right and i was also on this screen the wingspan because look at that man if you make your wingspan all the way up it's gonna lower your mid-range and the only reason why we're making this build is for the mid-range shot you know like I, I don't understand like I, I was trying to build the best build like 
I, I don't know, man. But this right here, you could tell I was thinking so hard. I was just on the screen for a very long time. But look at Shaq's wingspan, right? I mean, Shaq, Shaq can't shoot, and he has a really high wingspan. But I guess, but strength goes up. The, high, the longer your wingspan is, and look at Shaq's wingspan, and he's like one of the strongest basketball players ever. Like, I, I really don't understand, man. But, hey, they trying to balance, balance it out, right? But, yeah, I think I was going to make my guy 7 foot, and uh, the wingspan was like 1 or 2 lower than the, the max wingspan. And the weight, I made him like 290, something like that. Yeah, 290. And, um... Yeah, basically, I was trying to get a player that wasn't too slow, but yet average height center that, you know, is fast, can maneuver, can pick and pop easily, you know, I don't feel sluggish, because I'm not going to lie, the 7 foot 3 center that I had last year was kind of sluggish, but I got used to it, and also, I didn't have a lot of attribute bars when it came to um, agility, so yeah, man, I was pretty, like, used to the seven foot three center but this year i feel like i could become even a better player without such a sluggish center you know so this is the build i decided to make man you, you guys don't have to make the build that i make you know i know a lot of people want to make either a rebounding post a pure rebounder a rebounding athletic um somewhat along those lines you know those are the most popular center builds um but yeah i was either thinking about making a rebounding athletic or a, re or a rebounding, uh, what was it? A post stretch, yeah, post stretch, because they could do everything on the court except rebounding efficiently. And rebounding is the most important thing for the center position, which is why you're a center, in my opinion. You feel me? Now, yeah, th this is what the build I decided to make: rebounding shot creator. You don't have to make what I make, man, but don't. If, if you're not going for 99, when the when the game comes out, do not buy i mean do not spend your vc automatically on your build you know take a time relax brainstorm look at videos um just just take your time man because you're gonna waste money and not a long money you're gonna waste a build and vc for no reason just take your time that's the advice i got for you guys today man a rebounding shot creator is what i'm making that don't even sound right but yeah man i know nadex is making the same build as well but I promise you, I made this build before I even saw the video that he released or whatever he did. But yeah, man, it's been your boy Mount Devres, and I'm gone. Eyes, yeah, gotta shoot this spray, yeah, under 21, yeah, no license, my gun, yeah, lit like Christmas, lie, yeah, blessed like Christmas, nah, yeah, fresh like Christmas, nah, yeah, this is something lie, yeah, keep that gun on me, yeah, bitch, I know my rights, yeah, heard that nigga living love, we gon' hit it right.